we are given a right angle triangle PQR and we are asked to determine which side is opposite to angle R. So what we do is we look for the side furthest away from R, which is 8 centimeters. This number is furthest away from R, okay, or it is facing R, and therefore the side opposite to angle R is PQ. So our answer is PQ, which happens to be 8 centimeters in length. Okay, let's look at the side which is adjacent to angle R. So we are standing where angle R is, and the side closest to angle R, that is not the hypotenuse, is 6 centimeters, which is QR. So the adjacent side is the side which is near to angle R. Adjacent means near. So the answer is QR. And this is 6 centimeters in length. The hypotenuse is always the longer side, which is the 10 centimeter side. This is the longer side or the side of greatest length, which is PR. So we write PR. That is 10 centimeters in length and the side opposite the angle P. Now we are standing where angle P is and we are looking for the side which is furthest away from angle P and that side is QR. As we can see the 6 centimeter is furthest away from angle P. Okay, or the side faces angle P. So therefore, the answer which is opposite to angle P is QR, and this is 6 centimeters in length, and adjacent to angle P, we are standing where capital P is by this angle P, and the side which is nearest to angle P is PQ. Right, without counting the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is constant. It is the longest side, which is always 10 centimeters. Regardless of which angle we are working with, hypotenuse is always 10 centimeters PR. So the side which is adjacent to angle P is therefore PQ. So we write PQ. You can also write QP instead of PQ, it does not matter. And the length of the side is 8 centimeters. So this is vital in working out the trigonometric ratios of sine, cosine, and tangent. Thanks for watching. All the best in your studies.